Over the last six years, I've been working with a team in the United States, including uh, Dr. Bob Ulanovich, who is his name indicated as American, I guess, and uh, Sally Gurner, uh, both specialists in uh, complexity theory, and specifically uh, for Bob, he is uh, the founder of uh, the quantitative ecology at Maryland University. He spent his entire life measuring what happens in a natural ecosystem. In other words, you have the sun hitting the planet, you have animals, sorry, you have plants growing, you have animals eating the plants, you have animals eating the animals, we have us eating it all. It's a pyramid of life in which biomass circulates slowly to the top. He spent his entire life measuring what happens in ecosystems of many different scales and varieties. Now, of course, one of these things, that one, the one characteristic that they all have in common, notwithstanding different climates, different scales, different environments, is that they are sustainable. Natural ecosystem is our largest sample of complex flow networks on the planet that are all sustainable, otherwise they wouldn't exist. So the interesting question became, what else do they have in common? And out of that came the finding that there were two structural variables that were in common. Structure means that they're part of the structure of the network, not of what goes into the network. And they are diversity and interconnectivity. In the case of a natural ecosystem, is who eats what. A panda, for example, only eats one kind of bamboo, low interconnectivity. That poor animal, notwithstanding it's cute, is not going to have a big chance of surviving in the long run. So, once we know that, and we know that those variables are structural, then they are applicable to any other complex flow network, independently of what flows in it. For example, electrical distribution systems. Electrons go through a complex flow network. Those of you that may have a memory of 10 or 15, 20 years will remember that there were big blackouts in the United States and in Germany, the two countries that were the most sophisticated technologically, precisely, had pushed the efficiency of the electrical distribution system to its perfection. Suddenly, poof, blackouts of half the country. Nobody understands why. We don't know why. Efficiency has been pushed too far. And then the resilience drops. Now, what is an economy? Any economy is just a complex flow network in which money circulates. And we have also pushed efficiency very far. Actually, the entire argument for banks and financial systems to push leveraging to very high levels is an argument for efficiency. It creates brittleness. When will you learn from nature?